All right, what's up? It's Decepticon Swag. Hey, how you doing? And today I'm gonna just do a little quickie, real quick. We're gonna talk about the crossplay beta from SNK. Yes, the crossplay beta that just recently ended. Uh, and my thoughts. And to be honest, just to give you an idea of what I feel like, I feel like it went pretty well. Honestly, I think this went better. <laughs> better than i thought it was going to be i'll be 100 percent honest uh, from april 27th to the 30th was during the beta time it, uh, it was a crossfade beta for a ps4 ps5 xbox series xs windows 10 steam and epic games and initially uh, the launch i guess you could say that night people had troubles on playstation uh, i think it's something having to do with the store and maybe they linked the wrong thing because um you have to download a separate application to participate in a crossplay beta it wasn't like a normal beta is like on steam you go to properties and you click to opt into the beta no you had to separately download it because essentially it's a new build so i understand that point but yeah that was that issue that night but that got resolved pretty quickly that same night so uh nothing too egregious on that front and after that from the streams i saw in my own stream twitch.tv slash decepticon swag shameless plug uh from the streams and my own it seemed like for the most part things went good i think people had some hiccups as far as like joining rooms like lobbies but as far as like the crossplay aspect and playing people on the different consoles it worked i would say very well um a lot of the people i watched was from north america and then i want to say the night before it ended for us i watched uh taj gara over on australia shout out to him and I watched him play and he played people um, of varying platforms and I asked him about it and he was saying uh, as far as he's concerned it, it went pretty well things have been going well for it but that's good to know that not just in my region it was going well but in other regions at least for Australia and Oceanic it went pretty well so that's good I think Oceanic maybe that's the right term but yeah uh, I'll just do this things i didn't like per se i don't really have anything i dislike i'll be honest i still don't understand the whole profile following thing but it has nothing to do with it uh i would like here's the thing i want there to be a wi-fi indicator and i need that to happen because what happens a lot of times during the beta and just outside of the beta but what happened is I would get matched up with someone and for a split second, it'll say like four bars, 60 minutes, right? So obviously you click it. But then when I get into the match, it's just going up and down, roll back frames 10 and, and infinity and beyond. My opponent is teleporting around like I'm fighting Dio from Jojo. Like I like I'm fighting someone from a from Bleach. Like they just hit me with the flash stuff. Like I can't keep up, right? We have our own technique and we call it flash step. And my eyes can't keep up and so that's get that get very irritating it kind of makes me like okay i don't want to deal with this but yeah other than that just add a wi-fi indicator so i can at least see what i'm dealing with that's only negative i had that there wasn't that but as far as positives go as far as positives go man <laughs> i was i got so excited when i clicked the profile because i did it by accident and I saw it said report. It said Re I could block them and report them. Oh my God, SNK, thank you. I have been talking to people about this for so long about why was this not already in the game? I kept mentioning how Street Fighter V had this. Like if you play somebody with a crappy connection or for whatever reason you had a horrible time against them, you could block them and, 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 you, and you can report them now too. And not only that, in the report section, you have your obviously, um, I think it said like toxicity, bad connection, blah, 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 cheating, you know, do your stuff and it said other, but then under that, it had a box where you could type out a whole thing. Thank you. Oh my God. The number of people I faced that made me just want to block them because of their connection was so horrendous. Like, I'm so happy I can do that now because now it makes the experience easier. I don't have to worry about running into them again because what will happen? Camera focus, thank you. What would happen is I'll play 
and then I get messed up with them again and I have to just hold that like and the worst part I wouldn't even know who it is which leads into another thing thank you for including names thank you thank you I can now see the name so now I don't have to worry about rolling the dice and getting matched with that person again because now I can either block them or I just remember that name and just hit no I don't have to accept it because at the current state with KO15, we just kind of have to accept whatever match comes our way. Now, if it's like a two bar or below, I don't know. But like, you know what I mean? Like, you just got to take the gamble and hopefully this is a different person. But like now, is I can see the name of the person. Uh, I can block them. I can report them. I can put a detailed report if I want to. That's awesome. I still don't understand really the point of following the profiles. I, I guess maybe I can invite them through that to the lobbies. I didn't really see an option for that. It just said like I could check it off or remove them from my pro my like follow stuff. I don't know. I think SK needs to still work on that more. But yeah, um what else did I like other than that? I noticed during the well let me say this. As far as my matches went with other platforms, again I couldn't tell exactly what platform they were playing on because for those of you who don't know, whatever platform you were playing on you will see the specific icon for and then the person you play against if they're not on that same platform it will just be like a globe so what i mean by that is for me i played on pc on steam and for us it's a little laptop like a little laptop but for everyone else that wasn't playing on the exact platform i'm playing on it was just a globe so i can't see like an xbox logo or a PlayStation logo like I saw with Taj when he was playing. It was a PlayStation logo because he was playing on console and the little PlayStation logo. And I'm sure like for everyone playing on Xbox probably had a logo for them and so on. But yeah, um, I kind of hope they change that, but it's not deal breaker per se. Uh, but yeah, as far as my matches went playing against people on other platforms, for the most part, I say like nine out of 10 time, it was fine. Like nine out of 10 times it was fine. I'll be honest, it was it was smooth. That shit was smooth. It was smooth. And I was like, whoa. I was expecting this beta to kind of go like that a little bit. A little be a little shaky, you know. I was expecting it to be shaky, you know. But it was smooth. Um thing I noticed is that initially I was playing on ranked because I was just so used to going on there. And I kept getting paired up with people on the same platform as me. And I was like, huh, maybe uh Maybe I need to go on casual, see what's going on there. And sure enough, I was getting paired with people like that from other platforms just consistently. I thought a lot of Shingo players too. And uh, and, and uh, Darley Dagger, that made me happy. I was like, okay, people are playing other characters just other than top tiers or whatever. They're playing just whatever. So shout out to y'all. Appreciate you. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, as far as connection goes, for the most part, great. I had a good time. Like, I really enjoyed myself. Like, that was probably like the most fun I've had playing K well so far. And I have a good time whenever I play, but that really made it enjoyable. Uh, another thing, the matchmaking. Now, could be placebo effect. Could be just my imagination. Imagination. But it felt like I was getting matches much faster. I was actually finding people and it wasn't the same five people in rotation. Um, as the game is right now, if I was to hop on rank, or even casuals, but I'll say rank for the most part because that's why I play mainly. If I hop on there, for me, I'll find matches. Granted, it takes about a couple minutes for me to find one, but I'll find matches, I'll say, kind of consistently. The issue for me I have, I will find matches, but I'm not joking when I say it's like me and it's like maybe five, six people, and we just rotate just to be rotating out like it gets to a point where i'm recognizing names that i've played two days ago and i'm seeing them again so it's just me and like six other people it's like a classroom and we're just playing each other and we're just taking turns and we go to the next person and then we go back to this person you go back to that person it's like i'm speed dating and i'm just going back so yeah i like the fact that during that whole time in the beta it wasn't the same person twice unless i or them requested a room and we just kept playing each other which was great another thing Again, for me, like just joining lobbies and have people joining was great. No issues on my end. I think some people did have a little bit of issues, but nothing major. Again, I can only speak for myself, but for me, I had a great time. No major issues at all. Uh, but yeah, all in all, great. 
This is a step in the right direction, SNK. I'm happy. I'm extremely happy. I think I can speak for all of us in the community when I say we did not expect this to go as well as it did. You really did something good. Like you actually listened to us and put your best foot forward with this. You know, there are still other issues I have with you all. I, I'll probably do another video with that. I don't wanna, you know, put that in here. But again, this is the best thing you can all be doing right now and going forward keep the momentum let's keep the momentum keep adding things adjusting things and so on um the net code like i said felt better i don't know if they changed anything again placebo effect maybe maybe it was just the connections i had with other players felt better but can't complain uh there might have been one match or two that was kind of shaky but again that that's why i'm asking for the wi-fi indicator because i don't know i don't know what their internet was like as far as they're wide or not we don't know that part i just see the numbers and i got it the numbers mason what do they mean i gotta guess but yeah all in all if i had to give this a letter grade say say an a get an a so good stuff uh but yeah if you played the beta let me know what you thought what country are you from or where you reside when you was playing this or content that content it there we go continent that you're playing on you know like i said i spoke with people all the way in australia and queensland playing this and they had a good time with it and so i'm just curious about maybe you know, over in europe asia how things was going for y'all but yeah this would be a quick little thing i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here again if you like what you saw heck you used to doing this if you like what you saw if you like what you're seeing give your boy a follow uh again check out the Twitch channel a lot of times i'm streaming i uh, kyf 15 on there among other games, but my main game I'm playing, you know, just throw some on when I'm grinding KW15, twitch.tv slash Decepticon swag. I'll probably put an image somewhere around here. I don't know. Uh, editor this up, you do that. Uh, but yeah, links in the description, all that. But again, SNK, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is definitely going to help the game going forward, especially with Street Fighter 6 coming up. I know we shall. He whose name shall not be spoken of, mentioned, but it's a reality. That game comes out. There are going to be some people that go and play it. It is what it is. But this is going to help the audience that is still here and will still be here after that happens. Okay. So again, good job, SNK. Appreciate y'all for this. Please implement this soon, like real soon. <laughs> like, have you fixed it? Soon. But yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Y'all be easy. Like, share, comment, all that boring stuff. Peace.